Hello everyone. In this session, we will, we will discuss about the introduction to smart material and as well as the shape memory alloy. The first module consists of the introduction with respect to the smart smart material and as well as the shape memory alloy. The, in the, even in the first module also, it consists of the two parts. The first one is the introduction, introduction to the closed loop and as well as the open loop systems, smart structures, up, applications of the smart structures, piezoelectric properties, inch worm, linear motor, shape memory alloy, shape memory effects, application, processing and characteristics. Uh, even in this part also, we are discussing about the shape memory alloy and as well as the shape memory effects. But here, here we are not dealing in detail with respect to these things. Now, as you know that the material, material plays a major role in an engineering field. The impact and as well as evaluation of the human uh, human civilization and as well as the history of the material changes as the technology starts growing it. The history of the material consists of the stone age, bronze age, iron age, synthetic material age and the present century is nothing but the smart material age. As you know that in the, in the stone age, the fire has been invented and in the successive the bronze age the bronze ware has been evolved and in the case of the iron age the importance is given with respect to the iron and as well as the steel the, the next age is nothing but the synthetic age in this synthetic age or uh, the synthetic material age where the plastics came into existence plastics along with the plastics even the composite starts evolving it now the presence century and also the next future world is ruling with respect to the smart materials it is evident that the synthetic materials makes a superior performance with the characteristics and makes the further development in the space applications as you know that most of the space up, uh, space applications or it may be the space materials are even the nowadays the materials what we are using uh, we are concentrating with with respect to the lightweight and also with respect to high efficiency and low cost. For that reason only, the synthetic materials plays a major role. Uh, the smart material is characterized and catalyzed by the techno technology of the material science, biotechnology, biomimetics, nanotechnology, neural network and as well as the artificial intelligence. The introduction to smart material. As the name itself is suggesting, it consists of the two parts. One is the smart, the another one is a material. A smart material are the structures that can be senses the external disturbance and response to that with active control in a real time. Smart structures consist of the consists of uh, active devices, primarily sensors, and as well as the actuators embedded, embedded or attached to the existing passive structures. Depending upon the characteristics of the smart structures, it involves, uh, involves and as well as the expected operation condition and, this, and the uh, section of the sensors and as well as actu actuators considerably. Now here, uh, here in the case of the smart material, the smart material it, uh, it consists of the two things. The one is it should take and as well as it should sense the external disturbance and also immediately it responds responds to the active control in a real time this is most essential in the smart material if you take an example of the human body itself acts as a smart material if you start touching the hot objects immediately what will happen the heart or the temperature effect it will be sensed that sense it will be passed to the passed to the brain through the neural network and again the same uh, feedback effect is passed through the brain to the hands such that to take it back this reflex action this entire thing is nothing but something like a closed loop system which comes under the category of the smart materials the smart materials are the materials which are intelligent material response with the change in shape upon application of an externally applied driven force even uh, even in this smart material the example what we can consider is the shape memory alloy or it may be the piezoelectric materials now the term smart material describes a group of materials 
material systems with a unique property some material systems uh, does not exhibits the shape change but rather have a another significant properties uh, there are there are number of types of smart mat smart materials are available in nature and even with respect to the new technology and also which are already evolved and which are common in use some of these smart materials are the piezoelectric materials shape memory alloys shape memory polymers magnetostrictive materials electrostrictive materials magnetorheological materials electrorheological materials thermal temperature uh, responsive polymers holochromic materials photomechanical materials see these materials each and every material is having its own property if you consider the piezoelectric material piezoelectric material it is uh, it is responsive with respect to the load and as well as with respect to the electric field if you take with respect to the shape memory alloys here also the load and as well as the temperature plays a major role uh, in the same way all other either it may be magnet restrictive material or it may be electro restrictive materials or magnetorheological materials or electrorheological materials these these materials are having its own peculiar characteristics depending upon the type of the um, material these characteristics is also varying it uh, in a simpler way if you want to explain if you take an example of this piezoelectric material the, if you start applying the stress the electric charge is generated or if a small electric field is applied over the piezoelectric material the mechanical strain is developing it this is what we can say normally a most common in all materials or even metals itself if you start giving the electric field the heat is it is developing it because of that heat the what we can say the expansion takes place and also the mechanical strains are developing it if you take with respect to the shape memory alloys in the shape memory alloy if you start giving the heat to the shape memory alloy originally memorized shape can be achieved in the case of the mag, uh, electro rheological fluids if the electrical field is given to the uh, rheological fluids the change in viscosity or it may be the damping starts increasing it in the uh, in the magnetostrictive materials if you start giving the magnetic field the mechanical strains are developing with respect to this see these are the what we can say the inherent properties which has been in the material and this it can be used as a what we can say as a sensing material for the actuation and to design a smart material and as well as the smart structures